Hey guys, welcome to my trip to Moscow. This is me landing in Zurich because I had a connecting flight there. And this is the Zurich airport and it had a Gucci store and it had jewelry stores like Bulgari and obviously Swiss chocolate and stuff like that. When I landed in Moscow, it was really late and on the way back home, I saw this really cool truck and I guess it's like a AAA truck in America that fixes cars. This is the All Russia Exhibition Center, also known as the Vedenkhar VVC in Russia. It's a permanent general trade fair and amusement park in Moscow and it was established in 1935 and has over 400 buildings. That statue right there is the main entrance and it's a tractor driver and a farm girl waving some wheat. If you ever have a chance to come to Moscow, be prepared for the traffic jams because there are traffic jams all the times at all hours of the day. I swear to you that I have been stuck in a traffic jam once at 4 a.m. in Moscow. Hey guys, welcome to the Russian forest. In Russian forests, there's a lot of big thin trees like that. I don't know how you call them, um, these white trees in English, but in Russian it's called Berioska. And so we're gonna have like a little picnic here. <laughs> and then there's a little lake. Well, little. It's kind of big actually. And like a mini beach. And there's a lot of people just walking around with their babies here in the cribs and just taking walks. It's really pretty here. All Russian forests are like this. I hope you guys like it. We went um, to baptize um, this baby this morning from my boyfriend's family. And then now we're all gonna have like a sort of barbecue picnic here. It's really nice, it's really beautiful. Beautiful! So don't forget to like and comment on this beautiful forest. Oh, and um, you can also, I guess you can rent a boat. Um, there's people right there. So I guess you can just rent a boat and have a, and just chill out here on the weekends. And it's, we're so lucky that the weather is nice because this raining it was, uh, this raining it was morning. This morning it was raining. So yeah, we're really lucky the sun came out. And tonight guys, you're coming with me to the Red Square and there's gonna be some kind of like army musical show or something, so I'll show you guys. This is basically Russian nature. All over Russia, there's like a lot of these kinds of forests. It's really pretty. The weather's amazing. See you later, bye. The clouds arrived and it's about to rain. And, and it's plus 16. Outside. Yeah, it's plus 16 Celsius outside, and this is what you call real Russian men. They're gonna swim. Oh my god. The water is freezing. And we're wearing jackets and scarves. Someone's jogging. And then you, you can take this little... Come around. Oh my god, and now when they're gonna come out, it's so windy, it's freezing. The water is freezing. I don't know how they did it. They really drank a lot of vodka. I don't think they even have towels to wipe themselves. <laughs> what you see in front of you guys, this red tower is the Kremlin. And it has the wall that goes around um, the entire red square but everything's like closed off and the roads are closed because of this um, festival that we're having today that you're gonna see later 
The Red Square is a city square in Moscow and it's often considered the central square of Moscow and all of Russia. The square separates the Kremlin and the official residence of uh, the president of Russia from the rest of the city. And back in the 13th century when the square was built, it served as a marketplace and was also sometimes used for public ceremonies like the coronation of Russian Tsars. And the building you see right now is one of the Kremlin palaces and when you see the Russian president on the news he's usually in that palace and notice how long and how huge the Kremlin wall is that goes around the entire Red Square Next up we have the Bolshoi Theater which holds performances of ballet and opera which are amongst the oldest and greatest ballet and opera companies in the world. This theater is the parent company of the Bolshoi Ballet Academy which is a world leading school of ballet. Hey guys we are in the biggest and the most expensive a mall here right in the center of Moscow it's called the GUM G U M and there's just all 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 the shops here like Chanel and Escada and Louis Vuitton Gelsanda Casabay and look how pretty it is inside the, that's the roof and then we're on the second floor right now and then that's the first floor this whole place it kind of goes like in blocks like there's a first line a second line third line and then three floors with all the shops and cafes so really nice I really suggest you come visit this place even if you don't buy anything um, Still, it's really it's a really nice place to uh, just look around, and there's and there's like over here. I'll show you. Yeah, that's that's the logo of this mall. It's huge and it's really really beautiful. The architecture is really wonderful. And then it has like a little fountain with trees. Yeah, we're gonna go check out this cafe right in front of us. This mall is never like filled with people because not everyone can afford to buy stuff here. Oh my god, look at the dog! Cool dog. But a lot of tourists come here just to look around. So I am at this Saint Basil, the really, really famous um, buildings on the Red Square here that you usually see um, on postcards and stuff. Did you know, guys, that it was Ivan the, I don't know, the bad or the angry, who ordered this Saint Basil construction? What he did was the two guys that built this so that they wouldn't tell like the secret of how they built it, of how they made it so beautiful. He actually, when they were finished building this beauty, he took their eyes out. Can you imagine? He literally um, took their eyes out so that they couldn't see and so that they couldn't tell anyone else the secret of how to build this. And the two builders, their names is Minin and Pajarski. The beauty of Moscow. It's really pretty. And so, usually all these roads, um, you know, they're like obviously open for cars to drive on and stuff. There's some Russian army guys. Oh, look at this Chinese guy. Oh yeah, and um, they used to like kill all the people here as well, like back in the day. Execution, yeah, they used to execute. Oh, this is what it's called Intercession Cathedral St. Basil's. And so, yeah, they used to execute people right here on this square back in the like Middle Ages. There's 
so pretty. The horses.